Welcome to Pastures 53 on the road today. Beautiful sunny day in Django in June. My first visit here in Django in June. Beautiful place like you, like you see. And today we're drinking Les Pensées de Palus. Good friend of ours, they help us in Samoa. Uh, last year, we visited those guys after Samoa last year. Chinon, beautiful Cabernet Franc from the Loire Valley. Thank you, French friends. Yeah, French friends. <laughs> and today I'm with Steve Normandin, a uh, fellow Quebecer like me. And uh, first time meeting you, so I want to. Me too. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, tell me about yourself. What are you playing, CD wise? And... Well, okay. I, it's hard to, to begin with me, <laughs> it's hard to end too. But um, I will explain. Because I'm an accordion player, okay? And in fact, I play uh, jazz manouche as often as I can and I, because I really like the style and I really like the music. But I met the style when I listen to old records from singers, you know, uh, Jean Sartre, Jean the French singer, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. who worked with uh, Django Reinhardt. Uh -huh. And then I, I'm specialized in French chanson. Uh, I accompany a lot of people. I collect old 78 RPMs of French songs from Edith Piaf, Yves Montand, and many mm. great people, great singers who use accordion in their songs, in their uh, orchestra. Mm. In Durban. Durban, yeah. yeah. And, uh, uh, and sometimes I hear uh, many old uh, guitar players like Didi Dupro or Henri Crollo, many people like that who was the great guitar jazz players and who worked with the, the, the top of the French songs the, the post World War II. You know? mm -hmm. And in fact when I learned to play that style it, it was like Wikipedia without computer at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, some, I heard a recording and okay, Django Renard with Jean Sablon. Who is Jean Sablon? Jean mm. Sablon was a singer from the 30s mm. until the 80s. Yeah, a big career. A long career too. And he sang jazz, he sang with Hubert mm. Rostin. Who is Hubert Rostin? Mm. And I look on a Django record and uh, Hubert Rostin was clarinet player with Django with Yves Montand was made a lot of, uh, of uh, arrangements for orchestra from many great singers and I made all the connections with all the stuff that's how I, I learned to appreciate French culture about songs about jazz you know Michel Legrand the great composer mm. made a lot of recordings with the, the most famous singers in France before to, to, be the, the, to become the, the great film composer and, and uh, I like to play all that stuff on my accordion and on piano because I, I play piano too and when I arrive here in Django in June I'm not uh, um, I'm not E.T. but <laughs> I feel uh, strange uh, I'm happy to, to share with other accordion people because accordion for jazz is not a new phenomenon but uh, it's in, an old one coming in, back. <laughs> yeah, it, but in parallel, yeah, yeah. you know, and uh, uh, there's no real tradition. You have old Tony Murena and Gus Wieser, for an example. Mm -hmm. They played, and for a long time, people stopped to play that style, and they begin at the end of 1990, uh, nine, well, around since 25 or 30 years old, with all the new jazz in the years and find the, 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 the good world between these two styles. Sorry for my English, it's <laughs> tricky a little two, bit. Two French Canadian trying. <laughs> <laughs> sure. but, but when I play accordion, I play with an old-fashioned way from old jazz from the 20s before Manouche style. Like old yes, accordion players right. in the Duke Ellington bands or uh, many old accordion that you can hear in the bluegrass. Uh, and I try. Musette almost. Uh... And I play music too. Wow, wow. But, but for, for, for the jazz swing, I'm nearer from the old school than the new school. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's what I made. And uh, But I don't play just jazz manouche. I, I'm. Uh, 
actor I can play on theater too. Uh, I wrote my own songs. I made a lot of recording sessions for piano, accordion, for, for many artists, for many projects. And, uh, and what's Jazz Manouche is just a part of my yeah, life. That you love, yeah. And tell us about your. You got a second CD that's out? Yes, it, uh, the, the CD is called Swing Road. That's a project where I put some compositions and old stuff from the 20s that I found on 78s or uh, many old movies too. And uh, I tried to just give a cocktail swing, you know, just electric guitar, uh, double bass and drums supporting the accordion. And I really appreciate to play with a great musician from Montreal, uh, Asian Bon Haiti. Oh, Haitian. Yeah, Haitian. Uh, Harold Faustin, uh, Quebec born uh, Yves Jacques to uh, drums, and uh, Carl Surprenant, a uh, good double bass player too. Cool, cool. What do you think of this? Uh, first time in Django in June? No, my second time. Second time. I was there uh, last year. Uh, it, it was a great discover, and it's again a discover. All these young people who love that music and yeah. to share and to experiment you know how to to make a good solo to play fast or to, to go slow and to respect the style mm -hmm. that's very t uh, impressive for yeah. me nice place huh? yeah good time hey thanks for your time you're welcome i've been drinking some Talus chino Talus. Pensée de Talus. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. There's a lot of word games we could make in French with that <laughs> title. <laughs> we will explain after the yes. video. That would be a cut, maybe. <laughs> like I always say, keep drinking good wine, like the one of uh, Talus and Chino, and keep playing that beautiful music. Sure. Music and wine are the same. Yeah. For wine, you must take time to just let. The, the flavor, the color of the wine. It's the same thing in music. You must take time. Time to just taste. appreciate, to share, to yeah. with other people around you. Yeah. Those are fine, good last words, that's for sure. <laughs> Cheers.